Grand Rising Collective. Happy New Year. What's going on? Mm -hmm. Hope you're enjoying your day. There are new readings on the channel, Collective. All right. And um, we're back at it with another meeting here. Um, this is going to be really weird, okay? Uh, for some time, I've been channeling... Um, there's a mother. I've been channeling mothers. I don't know what is... I've just been... I've been channeling mothers for some time. And, um, and clarifying... Like, I did a, clar a clarification yesterday on a mother that I was having uh, channeling, uh, like, premonitions on. That reading is out. Um, this is another strange one here that I've been channeling, this mother figure here. Um, yeah, wait till you see these cards that came out. So, again, I wanted to... I always have to just make sure... Um, <laughs> And it just never fails, Collective. I always have to make sure before I get on the mic, I got to make sure, like, this shit is for real. And it is, child. It just be so sad, Collective. It's like, I just be hoping that I'm wrong, you know? But this this is not good, okay? So I've been channeling this mother that has, like, this strange um, Jezebel spirit for young boys, okay? Um... This woman has a thing for young boys. Like a, you know, like a sexual thing for young boys here. Um, I would call them like a, a predator almost. Or someone who, who it, like wants to seduce young boys. And I'm talking about children, child. Okay, I, I'm not talking about. Yeah, I'm th I'm sorry. I'm thinking of ages like like toddler to like teen. This one likes here. She likes teens. And it's not, it doesn't surprise me because I've seen this in the news before of these female teachers that um have sex with these teenage boys in school. So this doesn't surprise me at all because there are women out there who do this, okay? That prey on young boys. And I've been channeling this energy for some time. So, um, I decided to delve into it today, um, and the three cards that came out, it shocked me, but it didn't collective because it's like, damn, 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 okay? Uh, so, let's get into this. The first three cards I pulled out, I only pulled out three cards, that's all I needed to pull out to start this reading, and then we're going to pull some other cards, but, so I pulled out the star card, this woman don't got no damn clothes on, Okay? <laughs> But ass naked. And then after the star card, we have the sun card in reverse. And if you watch my channel, you know the sun card in reverse. Naked ass baby, naked ass grown up. And every time we have these two cards together on this channel, we know what it means. Period. The third card that came out was a male struggling here. This male could have fire in their chart or air in their chart. It could be an air sign. They could have Aquarius or fire placements or air placements. Um, I feel like what these cards are telling me is that this person was abused as a child and they struggle with it. And... Uh, their mother did it because the first card that came out was a bare naked woman. And um, the second card that came out was a bare naked baby. In reverse. So it's very possible that this woman was doing some things to their child very young. This is a witch. This per this woman here is uh, delves into dark arts. Okay. Um and seduces males uh, and does some type of magic on them. This male uh, with the star card here had the, this, this woman must have been into, because I feel like this is a while ago. Like this person is a man now. With, with this uh, seven of wands here, they're a man now. And they have fire in their chart. They're a man. Okay. 
they're not a little boy anymore the sun card they were a little boy but as naked with a mother which was a grown woman in the picture so she was a grown-ass woman doing this to a baby and now this person's a man okay this this man uh is a star card here they have air in their chart okay they were destined to have success and opportunities uh and and, and experience rebirth probably multiple times in their life which is great um but this witch here felt the need to uh cause failure and loneliness and unhappiness for this young man here for themselves it's like remember i don't know if you've seen my readings when the adults do spells on children they they i don't know if this witch was into tower readings or if they just have psychic energy or if they're attached to some type of lower entity that tells them these things about their child or if they get some type of intuition about this child however they receive this information <clears throat> they get it they get that this child's dreams are going to come true and this woman wants to take that from this child that's why the sun card is here in the reverse this child and was a star and then this woman did something to this child in reverse as we could see as a very young child here something negative <clears throat> something to affect this child's endeavors and their true will this is disgusting now this child has challenges but this seven of wands says that they can face them but this mother hurt their child and this woman also preys on other young men. <sighs> now this um, seven of wands energy and air energy could be air and fire is could could have struggled with this. Okay. And um, trying to overcome this, I feel like it's a secret or something. Like this person could be trying to investigate, <clears throat> excuse me, trying to investigate their past and find out who's responsible for why this person is like this. They might not even know, what I'm getting is that they might not even have known that they were being abused by their mother. Like they might have thought this shit was normal. Excuse me. Cars fell in. They might have thought this shit was normal when they were a child, is what I'm getting here. Because this person is trying to investigate and find out who's responsible for their uh, their struggle and their challenges in life. And why they always have to defend themselves or feel defensive. Yeah. Who's this? Four of Wands. Yeah. This child had a good future. And they still do. Excuse me. They still do have a good future. But what I'm seeing is that the mother saw this in the stars for this child and took it for themselves here so that they could have completeness and a stable foundation okay there they go libra two of swords she listened to her inner voice and she made this choice so she was conscious of what she was doing with the two of swords here and doing this to her child restored her peace and ease her suffering. She did magic on this child. She stalled, but she did it. Both of these people could be an air sign with fire in their chart. Oh, who's that? The Hierophant. Okay. Hierophant flipped right out over the star. I mean, landed right on it. And I'm in my bed collective. This is pretty hard to do. Um, but it landed right on top of it. So there's some type of teaching that this um, mother, butt-ass naked mother here, but ass both of these people are butt-ass naked. And I know when I see that, there's some type of weird shit going on. Okay? This person um, had experienced some type of... Um, teaching and education and quote divine wisdom that's how they learned how to do this here from this group or whatever i see a hierophant here it doesn't have to be a group it could be or it could just be somebody taught them this 
as a child um when they experience un unexpected conflict this is something that they could do they can take from their own child as long as they give it back in some way shape or form and you may be wondering why am i saying that like that because that literally came into my mind that's what these people are doing and it's so weird because i've said it in other readings but it's like now it's coming into full circle here these people take from the child and give back in the 3d they take from the child in the 5d which is the dream state which is the realm that we don't see and they give back in the 3d state to balance out their shitty ass behavior so this teaching was if you give to this child and take care of this child you will be all right take and give take and then give in the 3d to balance it out take from this child's future and give to them now but you get the child's future and they don't and you distract this child with with materialism with toys and school and clothes or whatever you provide for them are you listening to me collective Now, you nasty cross watchers, don't you go out there and get no ideas now. Because I'm telling you, this woman here. Wow, look at that. Seven. Thank you, divine. Thank you, divine. Now, this person could have earth in their chart. They could have Taurus in their chart. This, um, this mother could have Taurus in their chart as one of their placements. Um, yeah. They could have air and earth in their chart. You got air, earth, and fire here. Definitely air. It was the first card that came out. And then we have this person showing up as Libra, as the two of swords, struggling here with their inner inner voices. <laughs> their demons. Um, and as I said, cross watchers don't get any ideas. Seven of coin in reverse came out. Because now this person is experiencing impatience and chaos. What this card says is that they wasted their time doing that. Because now they feel um, like giving up. They're going through something right now. What is this mother going through? Let's clarify more what this mother is going through. It's like they're losing their mastery or something. Somebody's investigating them. Oh, Scorpio energy here. Five of Cups. This person is... Right, this deck is spitting, child. This person is um, feeling grief. And trying to uh, be confident that better things will come for them. They're feeling self-pity and despair and disappointed. They're in fear right now. Maybe they're out of um they're out of supply collective. These narcissists are out of supply, child. Four a coin and the reverse keeps coming out. Second time here. So this person definitely has earth in their chart. And um as well as air. This person is very greedy and materialistic. Okay. They lack originality. They're very talented. This, this mother, I feel like this person on the outside looks like a cookie cut princess here. Okay, but inside they're very possessive and they're possessed. Four coin in reverse is possessed for me. They're experiencing obstacles right now. They're holding on too tight to something and they lost control. It's like, you know, I also see investigation twice here. Investigation is number seven. Okay, it's coming up on number seven of wands and seven of pentacles in reverse. This person is being investigated. Who is investigating this person here? Oh, what happened? Oh. Okay. Can I up 
for the video for you collective. I'm going to be uploading a lot today. I just feel so many messages to share with you. Here we go. Oh, you're going to like this one. This last video here. It's good. All right. Um, mm -hmm. All right. So who is investigating this person's spirit? Who is investigating this mother? Who's investigating this mother? Mmm. Chow. Mm. Who's investigating this? This person is very angry right now. Chow. Okay. Who is investigating this mother? Who is investigating this mother, please? Thank you. Thank you. Somebody very angry. An air sign that's very angry. Gemini energy. Okay. I have King of Swords in the upright, searching for truth, which could be this child. I said this child could have air and fire in their chart. Okay, because I have two sword energy here. This child could be investigating their mother. Okay. Energy of the unexpected conflict and strife movement. Somebody is conflicted and doing something very unexpected when it comes to this deceit and this um, imprudent behavior that this mother did to them. This night is, these are two air sign energies here, one in the upright and one in reverse. This person wants to open communication about this what they're feeling right now. Because like I said, this seven of wands wants to know what is what is going on. What's going on? They're trying to gain perspective on why this is happening. So this mother energy is very angry, okay? And um, very deceitful. And this king of swords in the upright, which could be the child here, as a man, wants truth. Okay, they're being very cautious, but they want truth and they could be um, trying to like open communication about this and maybe they're, they're sh mm -hmm, cars are flying child. <clears throat> they could be trying to uh, think of a way to do that. They could be trying to um, articulate something or say something. I'm getting like speech when I see articulate. This person is very good with speech. This person is very articulate. That's what King of Swords in the Upright is. They're very articulate with their speech. They're very clear when they speak. I see design and plan. This person likes to design things. I see like design here. Hmm. Controlled but determined. Yes. Hmm. Controlled but determined. This person has a lot of self-control when they're in the upright. You don't want a king of swords in reverse, honey. Mm -mm. So this mother could have acted um, tyrannical when, when this person tried to open communication with them about this is what I'm getting to. Clarify more on this communication between this mother and son, please. Or mother and child. It could be a girl, too. I'm sorry, collective. I just, I channeled the male and female, but apply the roles as needed. If your father did this to you, okay, hangman here, okay. So, yeah. Somebody hesitated. Somebody's waiting. Somebody's hesitating. Okay, they're trying to problem solve here. Mm -hmm. Trying to problem solve. Okay, but they're very articulate, so they're not going to have a hard time doing this. Um, hangman here. Hangman. Pisces energy here. Taurus energy. Taurus, Pisces energy. Okay, Nine of Pentacles. You have Virgo energy. Earth energy. Okay, so somebody just wants to... Somebody wants to look at the world from a different perspective 
And this mother figure just wants to enjoy the results of all your hard work. Okay, son? Or male or female, whoever is going through this child. I'll say child. This person is tapping into their nine of pentacles energy. Which is, um, you know, all about inheritance. Which is inheriting your inheritance. This person could be stealing inheritance. They could be coveting inheritance. To have a luxurious life because that's all this person really cares about is nice cars nice house how they look how they appear okay and attainment but via their children and other children around them because i feel like this person didn't just do this to you okay i'm getting babysitter clarify babysitter chow the car spit out again yes spirit speak tell us what's going on with babysitter tell us what's going on Before I clarify babysitter, because I think that's what this woman is doing here to get next to children. Um, look at the world from a different perspective is what the, the male is. I have a male, which is a hangman. And I have a female. So the son is very possible. You can be a, a woman. Pride of roles is possible. It's just what I'm channeling here, my friends. Um, they're trying to look at the world from a different perspective. They could be waiting. They want, they're investigating. Two cards say they're investigating. But this one here just wants to enjoy their fruits of labor, your fruits of labor, and only cares about themselves here. Okay? And that's it. And reward. Reward me for being selfish is what this person is saying here. That's what I'm picking up. Babysitter. Okay. The moon card in reverse. Thank you, spirit. The truth is coming out about this babysitting bullshit here. Some type of deeper meaning is coming out here. I have two cards about attainment here. Mm-hmm. More Pisces energy here. Somebody has Pisces in their chart. Could be the male. Could be the male. This woman could like Pisces energy or be very attracted to Pisces energy. She could be into that. Okay. Uh, this person made some trifling ass mistakes, says the moon card in reverse with this babysitting business here. Okay. Something needs to be recognized with this babysitting business that this person, this person could be a babysitter, this woman here. I'm picking up babysitter. This person wanted to get close to another child here. They could have been uh, babysitting the child. Clarify babysitter, please. Who is this person babysitting? What did they do? We have the moon card reverse. You know they're doing something bad. Okay. Yeah, be careful of seeing things that are not there. All right. That's what the moon card is about. Illusions. Ace of Cups in reverse. Three of Swords in reverse. Yes. Yes, collective. This person did something very bad. They could have taken this child's Ace of Cups right up out of their future here. They wanted it. They said to this child, open your heart. Open your heart. And then right next to it, I have a heart. The three swords in reverse. That's this Libra energy. This was a water sign child. This child that she babysit was a water sign. Could have been a Pisces or a water sign. Okay. They blocked this child's logic. They repressed this child's emotions. This Libra did this to them. They released this child, which is like a spiritual sacrifice. This person did something that would require forgiveness. Some type of alienation, chow. A harsh truth. This is the harsh truth here. Now this child needs to recover. They're distracted. They need optimism. Because of this alteration that was done to them. This ace of cups in reverse here. This was a water sign. We have... Lots of water here. Got three cards in a row. And then I got this Libra doing something to this water sign here in the babysitting job. What else she did to the babysitting job? He or she did to the babysitter. You know, most women are babysitters. It could be a man that babysitted somebody. This is possible. Women leave men with uh men with their child all the time, child. Let's see here. We got the high priestess in reverse. And the judgment card. Child, I'm sorry I'm screaming, but I'm getting triggered. 
This bitch is a witch. Like I said in the beginning of the reading here, this person had hidden motives. Okay. I'm very confused here. High Priestess in Reverse is a whore. She's a whore for young boys. Like I said in the beginning of this reading, she likes to seduce young boys. Okay. And uh, she needs to answer the call. Or whoever this person is or persons or they, she, he, I don't care at this point. But this male cancer energy in reverse here, or this female cancer energy in reverse, high priestess energy in reverse, is under judgment. Okay, possibly by a fire energy or somebody with fire in their chart. Somebody's investing, somebody's looking at this person closely. Okay, this person needs to balance their priorities here and make better choices. They're going to experience an atonement and a reckoning on their life. Because they, right now, what they're doing has no purpose, okay? And they're failing to see the facts. They're hurting children. That's what this person is doing to this child, okay? All for superficial reasons here. This person's a thief, a spiritual thief. Yep, two of coin in reverse, doing working with the devil here. Lower Capricorn energy. Okay, overcommitted to the lower energy here. Very overwhelmed and overcommitted. Page of Cups in reverse. This is the child. This child was a water sign that they're babysitting. This child that they were babysitting was a water sign. This child was very naive and very flattered by this woman because this woman was flirting with this boy. This woman was flirting with this boy that she was babysitting. And you know what I, I said in the middle of the reading with these teachers that like to sleep with these children. These female teachers like to seduce these boys. And you know when you're a teenage boy, okay? How you feel when a, when a, you know what I'm saying? Like when a woman comes on to you, you probably feel good or, you know, you might feel a little like aroused or like, you know, happy because you're getting attention from a woman. This person played with this boy's emotions, Okay. Because they were immature. Page of Cups in reverse. They messed with this person's intuition. Took advantage of their kindness. Okay. Yes. They deviated this child off their path. Flattered them is the word here. Flattered. Okay. Terrible. Flattering children. That's flirting. Flattering is flirting. That's the same thing. Thank you for confirmation, Spirit. What else does this person do to this child here? Mm. Empress in reverse. It's a mother confirmation. Who is this Empress in reverse? This could be the boy's mother. Okay, this boy's mother was very dependent um, and lacked concentration. Maybe she did this to the boy's mother so that the mother wouldn't recognize what was going on between them is what I'm picking up here. This person could have been doing spells on a whole family so that she can control this boy and get what she wanted out of him. This fucking disgusting ass pig. King of Pentacles in reverse. Greedy ass, materialistic, stubborn ass bitch. Very controlling ass woman. This woman is a King of Pentacles in reverse. Very greedy. Or this could be the boy's parents. Empress in reverse, King of Pentacles in reverse. It could be the boy's parents. They're greedy. Okay, materialistic. And that's why maybe they didn't notice what was going on with their child. Or... This could be the characteristic of this um, this female here babysitting the child. Take it as it resonates. Tell me more. Yep. Three of Pentacles. Mm-hmm. She wanted this child's cooperation and influence. She wanted to influence this child. And she wanted to have common goals with this child. Like, this this woman is weird here. She's a weirdo, okay? I'm telling you, this is giving me uh, pe pedo vibes here, okay? 
Real weird, wanting to dominate children. Okay, really, really weird energy here. Very, very weird energy. <sighs> Wanted to gain something from this child here. This is Capricorn, and this child could have Capricorn in their chart. Lots of Capricorn energy here. This is the goat. Child is the goat. She wanted to sacrifice this goat, child. Queen of Wands in reverse. Yep. I told you somebody got fire in their chart. This person has fire in their chart, too. Okay. I feel like the mother and the son, the first son I was talking about, not the not the babysitting, no one being babysat, got air and fire in their chart. Okay. Um, this one here, this is the air sign, is a Queen of Wands in reverse. Very aggressive and demanding. Or it could be another woman doing it. It could be an air sign female doing it or a queen of wands in reverse or they could have air and fire in their chart. Take it as it resonates. But we have queen of wands in reverse here being de demanding and dramatic. Okay. And deceitful. Period. It could be a king of pentacles doing it. It could be an empress in reverse doing this as well to children. Take it as it resonates. It could be all be the same person. It could be different people doing it. Because I'm channeling different energy. I'm doing a general reading for the general collect. The page of swords. Yes. Okay. More air energy here and earth energy. Very aggressive. Okay. And nosy. Okay. And talkative. Okay. Always in everybody's business here. Mm-hmm. Very, but, but very quietly. Okay. This person, again, more cards that say this person needs to balance their priorities. And they don't. They're so focused on everybody else. Death card. Yeah, child. There it is. I don't need to pull no more. Death card with Queen of Swords at the bottom. There's going to be a death card to this Queen of Swords energy here. There's going to be some type of transformation or the ending of a cycle or some type of transition for this Queen of Swords energy here. This uh, It could be Libra Virgo energy. We have four and four again. Death is four. Queen of Swords is four. It's very possible that there's a water energy that's going to put an end to this or cause some type of transformation. This person needs stability and they need to be in the upright. They need to act like a queen of swords in the upright, but they're not. Okay. It's like they have the potential to be a queen of swords, but they're not. They gave into this hierophant energy, this education or whatever they acquired uh, you know when this child was younger is what i'm getting here um and they need to be a queen of swords so maybe this transformation will transform this person into a queen of swords somebody who is honest and graceful some type of rebirth here is needed clarify this death card okay hermit in reverse three of wands yeah This person has to go through some type of dark night of the soul here with the hermit in reverse. They have to go through a uh, a rash, harsh, dark night of the soul. That's what they need to experience. They could have Virgo in their chart. They could have Earth Virgo in their chart, possibly. Okay. Um, in the negative, though. This is not good Virgo energy. Um <sighs> This person also needs to work on um, taking their inspiration to action. Like, they they have a problem with that. That's why they steal from children. They steal the, the child's energy so that they can they can do what they, they can't do on their own. Okay? Um, they need to establish some type of nobility and honesty, says Three of Wands. Some type of honesty. This person's a liar. Yeah, they're very hasty. But they're going to have to experience something very dark. That's what that death card is. Some type of dark transformation here. It's necessary for this person to change. Clarify this death card, please. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, this death card can um, can um, bring action to their ideas if they go through this dark night of the soul here. But if they don't do that, what's to come for them? 
what's to come for them if they don't go through this dark night of the soul if they don't make the right choices what's to come for this mother emperor in reverse <laughs> failure weakness never evolving and growing up always looking like they're an emperor but really not okay just a fail failure they'll never have the ability to have a foundation a strong foundation or 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 anything uh victorious they'll just struggle they may never find a divine masculine either because they're dwindling with children Chow, it's inappropriate on <laughs> so many levels. Um, yeah, glad I clarified that. Let me get two angel cards for this, please, for the collective. All right, we have Page of Cups. Ten of Cups. Yeah, that's what this person wants, child. Ten of Cups. Okay. This water energy. Remember, we had a water and water, the Scorpio energy here. This water energy that's going to cause a type of transformation in this person. Or hopefully can. If they don't, they will be an emperor in reverse. So they definitely have fire in their chart. This water energy um, is possibly to, well, excuse me, they will have um, protection and consolation during this uh, transformation. Whoever this water energy is that is causing this transformation in this person's life, they will have protection from enemies while doing this. Because when you do this kind of work whoever's doing this you may experience enemies because you're you know this is ace of swords energy which brings new conflicts okay when you expose something you will experience new conflicts what this card says is the god who rejoices will protect you from your enemies while doing this type of work ten of cups says you're a divine warrior you're a divine warrior collective you confound the wicked and you bring victory and peace. But so we have the number 71 and the number 40. Okay, eight and four. You will have protection from one's enemies. You will have enemies when you do this type of shit. When you do this type of work, you will have enemies. And what else I see here in this picture? I wish I could show you this picture here. It's the picture of a woman, an older woman, bending over and kind of, it looks like she's kind of seducing this young man here. And then there's a child in the young man's lap. It's very strange. Very strange here. Yeah, like it's like she's kind of over this younger boy and just kind of like holding his face onto her face. It's kind of kind of weird with this energy here it's the same kind of energy it's exactly what i was visioning before this uh reading here so you are going to confound the wicked be a divine warrior and you're going to bring victory and peace collective okay in this work that you're doing in this transformation where you will cause transformation in other people you will help people reflect and see the things they need to change. And what's going on with the Seven of Wands really quick? What's going on with the Seven of Wands? Um, air, air and fire, the sun. What's going on with Seven of Wands here? They're avoiding conflict. The temperance might be in reverse. This is definitely air and fire energy. They could feel scattered or uh, tricked. They can feel uninterested in some things. What else is going on with this person here? They could feel unstable. 
or unstable. Oh, the devil card, child, five of pentacles. What else is going on with this person here? Ten of wands. Yeah, this is definitely air and fire energy here. They could have Sagittarius in their chart. This person feels burdened and blocked. They could have lost faith or feel very uh, frustrated at times. They could have a drinking problem. Damn it. Thank you for showing me that. With the temperance in reverse, I forgot. Yeah, that's, that could have, they could have an alcoholism problem. Okay. Remember I said that the parent might have that too, the mother. And um, yeah, we got more cups, four cups here. This person could be in a state of apathy. Okay, uh, maybe not taking any chances or feeling bored right now. And their strength is in reverse. The strong fire. My God, this person is air and fire for sure. Maybe a little water too. Yeah. They could be feeling a little petty. All right, and repressing their emotions and maybe looking happy on the outside, but really feeling a state of apathy and closed off and secluded. They could be tapping into their cancer energy or they could have a cancer in their life. I'm going to leave it at this collective. I'll see you on the next reading.